The bearing of a lighthouse from a boat is 310 degrees true. Full stop. Pause. Have a look at the diagram. They give you some letters. You would hope that most of them have been helpfully named, but you don't necessarily know what any of them mean. The question says, the bearing of a lighthouse from a boat is 310 degrees. And then they provide you this 310 degrees. That means, if you're measuring from the boat, that's where your angle should be. That's where your compass belongs, okay? So that means this must be where the boat starts, and that's why they call this L for lighthouse. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to label it so, so I know what's what. And you can see as well, and you'll see more as I continue through this question, how valuable it is to have a diagram that's probably comically large so that I can see what's going on. Keep reading with me. After the boat has traveled 1,200 meters due west. Pause. Have a look at the diagram. Every time you take a little nugget of information, look back at the diagram and see if you know what on earth they're talking about. If you go and read to the end, you'll have too much stuff in your head and you'll be like, whoa, what's anything talking about? The boat has traveled 1,200 meters due west. Where is that on the diagram? It's from A to B, right? So the boat started here, now it's over here, and then they take another bearing. The bearing of the lighthouse now is 328 degrees true. The diagram shows this information. Good. So we have a rough idea of what's going on. What are they asking us? First it says find ABL. ABL. All right, have a look at the diagram with me. Uh, and it really helps me to draw on here, right? ABL. That's this obtuse angle here in the bottom left-hand corner. Do you see that? There's ABL in there. So if I mark that in, and call that ABL, my first job is to find out what the size of that angle is. Okay? Now, have a look at it. Can you see that red line goes straight through ABL and cuts it into two pieces? What is that red line? It's the north line, right? And I've got a whole bunch of north lines there. Okay? The north lines are important because every time a north line meets an east-west line, you get a right angle. Very good. So that means I can say, all right, I know one part of ABL, this part over here, that's a right angle. So far, so good. If I want the rest of ABL, I just need that little spot in there. Okay, so have a look. Can you see what I need to do to find that tiny little angle? So yeah, it's 360 minus 328. Yeah, fantastic. You can see if I started from north and went all the way back round, I'd get to 360. But if you only go to 328, you end up here. So therefore, what's the extra bit? I think that must be 32 degrees. So therefore, I could say, well, there's the 32 degrees, which is little. And then there's the 90 degrees, which is just the right angle you worked out earlier. Does that make sense? So I'm going to say, what was this? Part A. Angle A, B, L. I include my working. Uh, 22, isn't it? There you go. Are you happy? Yeah. So nothing too fancy. You can see if you've drawn your diagram well, you don't need to think about it. You don't need to get to sine rule or cosine rule yet. The angles themselves will give you enough information. But why did you... Yep, good question. So I, I'm looking carefully at what they're asking me for, angle ABL, and where it is. And I see that the obtuse angle is made up of, well, there's the right angle part, and then there's the extra, right? So there's the right angle, and there's the extra I found out. Cool. Okay, next part says, use the sign rule to find the distance from the boat to the lighthouse. From the boat to the lighthouse. Okay, where is that? Where is that? It has a name. Have a look. It's good name. It's B. L. Do you see that? Because because that's where I used to be, but now I'm over here. Okay. So B L is what I'm looking for. If you want, you could label this X if you like. But since it already has a name, B L, not going to give it another name. I'm just going to call it that. So now think. You've still got your table there, which is handy on a page back. I rubbed mine off. I'm trying to find B L. And they have actually told me nicely, very conveniently, to use the sign rule, right? So I'm going to have to go B L on sign something equals, and then I'll need some other side and some other angle. Do you agree? Because I'm going to have to use the sign rule. 
All right, have a look at that triangle. Well, they've given you AD. So okay, very good. I've been given this length here. In fact, it's the only length I have. So I'm going to have to use that. There's another length. Well, what's, sorry, not what side, what angle is opposite AB? Have a look, it's got a name. Angle A, A, L, B. Do you agree? Rather than saying L, like there's a couple of angles up there. Actually, there's more than a couple of angles up there. So that's why I name it with the letters. So I'm going to go sine uh, A, L, B. Yeah? Okay, now lastly, BL, BL. I need to know what angle is opposite BL in order to use sine rule. What's the name of that angle? Look carefully. Here's BL. It's a bit of a weird looking triangle because it's obtuse. Oh, the, the angle that's opposite is over in this corner, isn't it? Do you see the triangle I'm in? And you see how I'm looking across to the other side. So therefore the name of it is um, BAL. Do you agree? Do you see that there? So I'm going to name that sine B A L. Okay. Now they told me to use the sine rule. I've written down the sine rule with all of the bits and pieces I know, but I also have bits and pieces I don't know. Okay. So how am I going to find out these guys? Uh, let's start with B A L. That's uh, that's this over here. How am I going to work that out? Actually? Okay. So have a look carefully, right? If I do. Yeah, okay, now I'm actually going to, uh, before we leave that idea, 360 minus 310 is on my diagram. It's not the angle I want though. Where is 360 minus 310? It's That's the, like the, the right out of the triangle. Yeah, it's to get all the way to a full revolution. So go around, that would be the 360, but if you pedal back, that will be, well, 360 take away 310 is 50, isn't it? So if this is 50, then this must be 40. Because again, there's more right angles. By the way, I could have gone there directly. Instead of going 360 and then rewind, okay, I can say if I go all the way around three quarters, how far is three quarters? That's 270, isn't it? Right? And then if you go a little bit further to get to 310, 270 going up to 310, that's 40 degrees again. It's the same answer, okay? So that in there is 40 degrees. Do you see how important it is to have a big diagram so that you can put stuff on it and it doesn't get too cramped? Really useful, okay? So I just worked out um, sine, I just worked out BAL, so I'm going to write that in. BL on sine 40 degrees. That's equal to 1200 on. Okay, I've got this other angle. Uh, where is it? ALB. That's this one up here. How am I going to work this guy out? Yeah, fantastic. So I worked out in part A what this angle is. I just worked out what this angle is, and that's the third and last one. Um, let's see here. We said that this was 122. If you add that, that's 162. So what's that going to be? 18 degrees. Okay. Um, and if you're not, you know, obviously your calculator can help you with that. So now I know the size, so I'm going to state it. There we go. That was a lot of hard work. We had to look at this diagram. We had to constantly go back and forth, but now I've got all the information I need. So I can just make BL the subject. How do I do that again? I'm going to multiply across the side 40, so that'll give me this. And now my calculator is going to take over. Okay, can I get a decimal, one decimal point maybe? One decimal point probably good enough. Okay, cool. Sense check. We've got a number. Does it look reasonable? Yes. I think it does. Yes. I think it does. And in fact, we can do um, that super powered sense check that I talked about because I can actually use this sine rule thing, BL, the side I'm after. Right? Do you see it's opposite 40 degrees? What was the other side I used in this triangle? This is 1200, yeah? Is that opposite a smaller angle or a bigger angle? It's opposite a, small, opposite a smaller angle, opposite 18 degrees. So the side that's opposite 40 degrees, you ought to expect it larger, which it is. Okay. What's the final question? Find the distance the boat needs to travel 
to be due south of the lighthouse. Yeah, to find what BS. distance am I trying to find? Now you find BS. <laughs> okay, yes, this is very inconvenient. Good, good work, guys. Someone was meant to proofread that. Anyhow, the side I'm trying to find down here. It could also be SB. I'm going to call it SB. No, Why not? Okay. No. I'm after this length over here. Okay, SB. Um, how am I going to do it? What was the information I just found out, by the way? Like you saw, I used part A to work out part B. What did I just find out? Yeah. Um, the angle is three two six parts. So yeah. And then you're talking about this one. Yeah. Here? That yeah. Is, um, is that it? One two two right. Yep. That's how you find that. To find this. And then you find the. Okay. Pause. Wait. Wait. Wait a second. I want to find out this angle in here. Why is that useful to me? It is really useful to find out this angle. I'm going to color it in fully now. Why is it handy to me? Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to get into this triangle. Do you see that? Pretty much all the stuff I know is over in this triangle. I just found out that this is 2496.1 over here. That's good. But I need to get into this triangle. Um, you can see another way of doing this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's 58, right? Do you see where I got 58 from? If I go all the way around to here, that's 270, right? Do you see I went three quarters the way around the compass? But then to go a bit further, to get to 328, 270 plus 58 will get me there. Do you agree with that? So that's how I got that angle in the corner. What do I do with it? Yeah, very good. You can see in this triangle over here, uh, BSL, it's right angle, yeah? So I'm just going to use this space here. Cos 58 is adjacent on what? On this hypotenuse, do you agree? So it's SB on this 2496.1 number and now I just need to multiply across. SB equals that. I don't really worry about what the number is. You can check it out if you like, but that was the path that we took to get there.